Guys, this is Ish at Ish's Tactical Solutions, and today uh, I wanted to do a quick review on the ATM Bino XHD uh, 4 to 16 power uh, day and night uh, vision uh, binoculars. All right, we already done um, a review on the ATN scope, and uh, this is uh, part of uh, our, our equipment that we use. Uh, when we're recording all these uh, coyote hunts and predator hunts uh, during nighttime and uh, they turned out to be a, a great set of uh, night vision binoculars and I just wanted to talk about them a little bit uh, at the end of this um, I will show you a, a video where I was going to go hunt hogs and uh, ran into a, a big young buck and actually just sat down and videoed the buck, all right? And you can see how clear that they are when they're focused correctly. And I think the buck got within 15 yards of me. And, uh, you know, I was, like I said, able to record them. And uh, this night vision uh, helped out quite a bit. All right, so uh, just like the scope, it's uh, it, it records at 1080, all right? And, uh, um, you got to learn the functions on it just like you do uh, on the scope, but it has GPS and Wi-Fi, all right? You're able to record, take pictures day and night, all right? Uh, and like I said, yeah, it's 4 to 16 power, so uh, you're able to zoom up quite a bit, and uh, it records pretty good. In fact, some of uh, the 800-yard uh, shooting that we do, we, we actually use this to record uh, us shooting uh, because it's able to zoom up so far. All right, and during uh, daytime it uses both eyepieces. All right, during nighttime it's only one piece. All right, so it makes it easy to focus, and that's because the other one is an IR. All right, and the IR on this actually is better than the IR that comes with the ATN scope. I I had to upgrade the ATN scope uh, IR. This one right here, coming out of here, it's perfect. It's very, very easy to use, all right? And the platform's easy to use. Um, the other thing is, is it takes one, two, three uh, batteries. And um, what I would say about that is uh, they last uh, about two to three hours. So I do just like I've done and get some rechargeable ones because these are not cheap. And after going through about $100 in batteries, I finally just said, hey, I'm gonna give me some rechargeable ones. And they work uh, just as well. They last two to three hours, depending on how well you're using it, uh, night or day. All right, actually, it has right down in here, the hookup to, uh, you can put it on a bipod, monopod, or whatever. Uh, we put it on a tripod for recording purposes uh, while we're shooting. And I have a monopod that's long, so you don't have to sit there and hold them up the entire time and you can rest them and we get a stable platform while recording. And um, I'll tell you another thing that's great about these is they're very, very durable because we've dropped these at least 12 times and they are still working, all right? Um, I would suggest not to drop them, but we have dropped them and uh, they're still working. Uh, it's got a good rubber coating on the outside of it. so. Uh, another part uh, that they send with you is, uh, of course, you have your protectors, but um, they send you this right here, uh, and all it is is a cover for the IR light, a small hole, and uh, that's because even though uh, I, we haven't had any animals at all, none, be able to see an IR light, and there's tons of conversation about it because that's one thing that I read about whenever buying these uh, night visions because they're Gen 2, they require IR lights. And um, uh, they talk about animals seeing IR lights. Well, we have yet to have any of the animals see the IR lights. But see yourself as a human at nighttime that where the IR come, light c comes from, it's red. So this is, makes it a lower profile and uh, makes it to where they can't see it as well, all right? I went a step further and actually built one, and you see that uh, I actually super glued uh, some masking tape on here and then used a permanent marker and both sides and made it blue, and it lower, uh, makes the uh, profile even lower. 
Uh, the only problem with that, guys, is obviously the IR is not going to reach out as far. And the problem with this one is it, it'll reach just as far, but it's more tubular. Alright, so it uh, depends on whether uh, why you're hunting or filming an animal or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, even um, uh, humans, you know, uh, someone trespassing, whatever the case may be, is to take into account whether you're going to be close to them. If you are, you're going to need one of these. Alright, if you're far away, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Alright, so uh, I really, really enjoy the ATM product and it's been a great product. Um, again, um, just like I said about the scope, I still am having problems with their customer service and uh, they're just not that good when it comes to customer service. Uh, and that's very, very upsetting and sad because they make such a good product at an affordable price for people like you and me to be able to have night vision capability, all right? So uh, give us a like. Subscribe, make us a favorite, God, family, country, all in that order, and thanks for watching.